piece of wire this long. So they use this set screw type connector here, which is a, a brass tube with screws in the side to hold that. And we will continue to use these connectors to hold the motors on, but we won't use short sections of wire like that because uh, it's really just not good. Now this was wrapped with a material called cambric tape, which is a bias tape that is the, the instead of being woven on a, well it is woven on a right angle, but when it's cut, it's cut at an angle and that keeps it from unraveling. And I can see an inner layer here where we would use vinyl tape in 2008. They used this vinyl tape, which was pretty good stuff, but it doesn't have an adhesive and it, it doesn't wrap evenly, easily. And then they either would put rubber tape or uh, just wrap it directly with friction tape, which is what you see here. And I just peeled this off so we could see what the connector was, and frankly, we'll, we'll recycle that and use that connector again. Uh, I do nowadays put vinyl tape over first, but what you see will be the friction tape uh, on all these joints, just as they were originally. Now, for some reason, they put this kink in here and held it together with friction tape. I have no idea why they did that. Here are a bunch of other splices where they uh, lengthened the wire out for some reason. I don't, I don't know what they're like in here. This doesn't feel like they've got screws on it. There's no uh, bumps as there would be like this. So there may be just a, a bronze tube soldered together or they may have wrapped the wire around each other. Now they, the way these, uh, the wire was uh, bundled was it was either wrapped in friction tape, as you see right here. Well, there's probably cambric tape underneath that. I, we haven't opened this up, but I'm pretty sure there is. And or hose that they put around. This is fire hose. It doesn't have a rubber lining, uh, but they did make this hose specifically for this electrical purpose, and we will try to use that, though it's a little difficult where we're coming in on this in the middle rather than starting from scratch to be able to put this over the wires and have it go where you want. But we will use it as much as we can. Interestingly also on the wire I just saw it here there was a tag that would have been stamped as to where this wire would have gone. What did they do with it? It was in the middle of all this bundle. But you can see how I'm twisting it. Uh, I, you can look right through it to the uh, to the copper here and there's, uh, the rubber has disintegrated and the, the frayed cotton is not critical but it it's, uh, doesn't look very nice. So this wire has had it and it will be sold for scrap to maybe help pay for a little bit of this work here. So anyway, you have the, um, the hose and the friction tape which is all dried out and this is a big T-splice uh, where the, and I'll see if I can find a T here. Uh, I had it set aside earlier for illustration, but I can't 